Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. And hi, I'm Urs Rechio. And welcome to another Broncolor how-to video. Now, Urs, it looks like you've dug your Pink Floyd record collection out here. Uh, no, not the Pink Floyd. They are <laughs> safely at home for this. For this, I took something else. <laughs> right. So, uh, looks like a product shot of some uh, headphones yep. and stylizing it, building a set with some vinyl discs in mm -hmm. there. Uh, talk us through uh, your setup here, please. Okay, so the, the main light, we probably have to start from the back. The, the main light is uh, a Cirrus S800 um, with a L40 reflector and a narrow grid. So a narrow grid, and it's coming through some diffusion material. Exactly, it's uh, just an acrylic plate, uh, matte side down. Yep. And I place this in a way that we get a, ni a nice halo around the, the... Around the product, around the headphones. Around the product, right. exactly. Yeah. So that halo will be emanating sort of off of the vinyl. Yes, reflecting exactly. on the vinyl. Um, as well, it gives nice edges, so it shows the, the shape the of the, the, the texture of the, of the LPs. Uh, and as well, it basically it's the main light as well for the headphones itself. Okay, uh, but there are two more lights plus a few ex extra little accessories. Exactly, um, the, the light shapers are actually quite basic, so it's as well in a way to show that you, not, no, you do not always need super, super fancy light shapes to make a high-end product shot. Okay. So it's just um, normal reflectors, grids, and a small softbox. Yeah, so none but of the fancy Pico projection attachments Not for this time, no, no, nope. uh, not for this time. This, this will come back later on. But let's break this shot down one light at a time. Sounds good. Starting with maybe your, your backlight. Exactly, so And then we can see what each, uh, each one's doing. We're also, just point out, we're shooting on the medium format with the uh, Hasselblad 120mm macro lens, which is equivalent to about a 100mm macro lens in 35mm format, so perfectly achievable on 35mm equipment as well. Okay. Good. So these are switched off. So it's only the one I've been talking about before. Uh, normal reflector with narrow grids. Okay. And Excellent. It's, it's of course very dark, but you can already see that they get nice texture. You know, all the, yes. the atmosphere yeah. is there and that the black object is surrounded by this halo. Exactly. Black on black is always tricky. So this is bringing that beautifully. I really love the texture in the vinyl here, seeing the grooves and the tracks and the reflections. Exactly. And yeah. that's all just from the one backlight coming through the diffusion material. Exactly. Yeah. The further away I go, the bigger this light circle becomes, yep. so, so the bigger the reflection. So, so that's light number one. Yep. Let's look at light number two, but without light number one, yep. please. I can switch this one on already. And we switch this off. Okay. So the second one is a softbox coming from the side. It's a smaller softbox, of course. Uh, it's always about adjusting more or less the size of the light shape to the size of the object. So if I have a tiny object, of course, I take the smallest softbox. And if I fire this, you will see that this actually brings more like the, the main light from the side. Okay, so this is light side, number yeah. two, but on its own without light number one. Yeah. But what's really interesting here for me is this beautiful gradation that you've achieved down here. We are using just standard equipment, but let's say with just this little black cardboard mm -hmm. um, that I placed quite close to the object, I can flag off some so, of yeah. the light. So let's say if so I take small this away, flag. if I shoot it now, you will see that the light, it's much more boring, it's just flapping. Yes, absolutely, that's amazing. So that tiny little velvet flag, black exactly. velvet flag is just shielding creating a shadow across yeah. the bottom half of that face it's on exactly. the headphones. And when I get closer, this shadow is sharper. Mm, when I take yeah. it further away, this shadow slowly, slowly disappears again. Yeah. So the position of this little black thing is crucial as well for the quality of the light. Yeah. So adjusting this, now it will go further down. Great. So that's probably... And this shows you just how creative you can be by using little homemade accessories. They are super, super essential, as you know. Yep. Mirrors, uh, little cardboards. Yep. And, uh, Flags, yeah. everything, yeah, it's fantastic. Right, now talking of mirrors, yep. you've also got a couple of mirrors in there. Are those mirrors uh, operating from this light or are they operating from no, another light? No, they're actually light? operating from this one. Okay. And the, the first one uh, here in the back, is responsible for the reflections I get on the vinyl, on the acrylic In the back. top right-hand corner there. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was too bright, when okay. I, because this is uh, more or less like the main light, so the reflection was too bright, so that's why there is even a gray filter. So got uh, an ND gel. It's an ND3 uh, gel, also, so it takes off one let's, stop. Let's take a shot without the gel, just to show yep. the viewers the difference. So it will be too dominant Ah, there here, we go, huh? yeah. But when I put it in front of it, it's like a two f-stop reduction of the light. Okay. And because it should not be the the main focus, yeah. Now it's uh, very weak. 
Okay, so the mirror at the front, what is that one doing? Um, we have in here, it's a lot of black, you know, this is just a fill-in light for this dark area. So on the photo, that's... Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's actually in here, otherwise right. it would be too dark and fading away completely. Well, let me, let me block the mirror a yeah. minute with this black card and let's just see the difference on what you've got Ready? so far. Yeah. Good. Okay. So oh, wow. It, it's yeah. a complete... Yeah, absolutely dead gone. down there. So that's um, all from the mirror. Exactly. And if the mirror is on again... Yeah. And these are just little convex makeup mirrors. Exactly. Right. Now, uh, that's light number two. Let's turn that off. Take a look at yeah. light number three, please. I'll turn light number three on. Yes. So this is just, uh, well, yeah, just a normal reflector coming from the lift at, uh, I think, about three f-stops below the, the two main lights and just gives some nice accents on the lift. Ah, really yes. some, yeah, some highlights. Lifting that up there. And okay. then actually these highlights, they fade away and then the mirror takes over. Right, okay. So uh, let's now go into all three lights combined and uh, we can take a look at, uh, I guess, close to the final shot, maybe just a few little tweaks needed. Yep. And uh, right. Good. see what we get. Still moving. Yep. Wow, there we go. Okay. Yep. So that's the combination of all three lights. Yep. All those little details being revealed beautifully there, lovely little gradients, textures, yep. and as you said, a difficult subject, black on black, but you're isolating it and uh, lifting it with, mm -hmm. uh, with light in the yep. uh, specific areas. Well, it's actually quite interesting, you know, if I go with up with this softbox just a little, little bit, just a few centimeters up, you will see that the, the texture here mm -hmm. will have a huge, much more power. You see oh, yes. How, how yeah, this yeah, changes, yeah. you yep. know? Yep. So uh, which one do you prefer, that one or the one before? I think the one before. The, uh, I think it's too, it's too distracting too much, already. It? Yeah. I would just, uh, it's really about two centimeters. Huh? Yeah. I just take it down two centimeters, shoot it again, and immediately I have an f-stop less here. Yeah. So it's super, super precise. Excellent. You can work. Excellent. Well, I think that's a, a wonderful result there uh, with a three light setup. And it demonstrates really clearly how you can actually accomplish a very high end product shot, but exactly. with very basic, minimal In equipment. End, yeah. You yeah. just have to know what you do with them. Right. Well, hope you enjoyed that how-to video. Another great example from Oz on uh, product photography. I'm Carl Taylor. And I will say thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.